So, I don't know if you've forgotten. We kind of did. It's shop time. It's shop time. <laughs> <laughs> family has spent the last several months knee-deep in our largest earth bag building yet, a machine and wood shop. This was Dad's passion project. Dad always designed the coolest roofs. This project is no exception. Thankfully, he left several design blueprints for us to pour over. Getting the structure properly set to hold the roof is imperative. The guys will be tackling that this episode while us gals continue making the walls excellent. That, uh, that just happens to be a t-shirt design in our in our shop, 20% off this weekend. So it's been a while yeah. in the shop. So me and Jared, we've been just been for the past like couple days just walking around the shop going, okay, we need to do this, we need to do that. Kind of going over dad's plans a little bit mm -hmm. and kind of figuring out what we need to do. So I think just for today, we're just gonna basically finish off where we left off with some of these posts where we don't have them quite attached and welded in yeah and then we don't have like some of these truss beams up yeah we need to yeah. figure out a bracket for the brick there so we can put this truss beam up and this one might be slightly complicated but we'll see <laughs> we'll get there clean up where we left off Matt. yep one step at a time one thing at a time hey what are you guys up to uh i got Brackets made to attach the, the last truss beam to the wall, or one of the last ones. Okay, I'll cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So that one will just go right there, Perfect. and that one will go there. Perfect. And that way we'll be able to weld our truss beam up here. So that's what you guys are working on—all the beams. Yeah, we're finishing them out. So. Okay, very good. If you remember, we are putting up hexagons that we custom make out of aircrete up on the exterior walls of the shop. So we are getting cracking back on that project. Yeah, it's kind of a slow process because we like to have those cured for at least two weeks before they go up on the walls. What's nice is that we are able to work on the exterior while the guys are working on other stuff so that hopefully we'll be done around the same time they're done. Yes, hopefully. Can you set it up on your ladder now? In order to get our truss up there and to attach them to the brick wall, we needed to come up with a bracket design. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd kind of copy what we did before. All it is is a little like U-shaped bracket that fits over it, over one of the sides of the brick, and then we bolted it in. Yep, flat. It's flat. Oh, perfect. And hopefully it won't move. Mm -hmm. I really like the oh, that's pretty close, huh? That was good. Okay. Let's was it, are we level this way? I did not, and it will check that now. Well, we're all. That's perfect. I love that. More air treat, Bree. More air treat. Twelve at a time. All right, this is the 12th one. All right. Welcome to the madness. We have to clear.
clear these buildings out because we got to take the roof off because the walls need to go higher. Is that about right, Brad? That is correct. So we are just cleaning it out, and you can see it's been it's super clean in here already. There's not much to do. Oh my gosh, there's a huge rat! Oh wait, that's, that's not a rat. rat. Oh, she's like, oh, why, where? <laughs> she was ready to run. <laughs> it's okay. This gives us opportunity to go through everything that we have, clear out the stuff we don't want to put in our nice new building. We've spent months trying to figure out what to do with all the stuff. Since the monsoons are over, we can store the items on pallets. And without the threat of downpours, the tarps can also be removed from the shop. Well, since we're planning on getting the roofs up soon, we can use these as much as we want. Wire and chewing gum. Yeah. So I think the tarps worked really well. Yeah, um, we tarped it mainly to just keep the rain off of it to kind of shed some of the rain. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I thought it worked quite well. Yeah, the tarps held up really well over the summer. Like they're they're UV protected. They didn't. The they were up there for a few months. Buildings are in great shape. Did you need assistance? Yeah. There's all our stuff wrapped up in a bundle. And that's a wrap. <laughs> well, I feel like a construction man on this first day because all I have is a, a hammer and a magnet thingy and some gloves and this that's all i got jared represents what we're gonna do today we gotta remove that thing yep which i think i think it's screwed in and not nailed yeah we're gonna find out we'll see not sure. but all this stuff we're gonna leave in here mm -hmm. it's gonna kind of be out in the weather yeah if it rains once or twice on it it's not gonna hurt it much yeah so this roof is gonna come off that's the plan that's the plan i'll just remove this here and that will work hey. Gosh, never mind. <laughs> Jared's going up on a Tuesday. Yep. Wow, you've already pulled up that corner. Oh, wow. So fast. Look at the rip on that that she did there, too. <laughs> oh, so clean, so clean. The roofs on the two outbuildings need to be removed to prep for the new roof. All those mesquite beans. I think we're going to have a leak. I think so. I think they'll be fine if they all fall like that. Let's just make sure we don't cut the... <laughs> yeah, cut the power line. <laughs> My awkwardness? Yes. <laughs> Look at my bags. Oh, yeah. All right. Whoa. Hello? Hi. Now that's a real skylight. <laughs> Reveal the skeleton of the roof. Held up for many, many years, actually. There. Almost there. Now get those big things out. Yep. This is the lollipops. We got all the mills out of here. Oh. Now we just have the main beans here going across. We gotta keep going. Gotta get rid of. I think you got our room dirty in here. Oh. oh. Shoot. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Hi. 
All right, Bree. Got some more we're doing. We kind of backtracked and did that row there because it was fun. And Jared got us a nice line over here. Let's start putting those up. Let's keep plugging away. One day at a time. It's kind of nice that you have a, a wall that's malleable enough that when something pokes out, you can just wet it down and clunk it back. That's true. It makes it easy. Okay. Oh, I forgot these are the hips, not the, the point. I can just roll it across. Bean walker. Right. Ready? Yep. Perfect. When Bryson and Shay were real small, we were building the outbuilding. Bryson was putting on the blocks and we doing the mortar and we got to a certain height and we were exhausted and it was really hard to get up that high. And so we were talking to, to Gary about it and he's like, I'll just finish them off with railroad ties, solving our problem for us. And that's why all those railroad ties are up there. You know, I was so young, I actually don't remember that building going up, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah, you were young. I don't remember that. Did I, did I even help with the blocks? Oh block? yeah, you did the blocks. Yeah. The more you know. <laughs> Turn this one down, Jared. Yeah, you're good. It's clear. Nice and safe. Glad that's working out so well. Last melon. Yeah. Before we get back to the show, we have a new product that just hit our My Little Homestead shop. We're really excited about it. It's called Hot Springs in a Bag. There's a lot of great minerals in these, uh, but what makes these so special, there is a lot of hot springs up there in British Columbia. This guy who we've partnered with to sell these takes the concentrate of those hot springs and makes them into these little packages that you can just take into your own bath and have your own little hot springs. So we're really excited about these. We've been using these for a while and we love them. If you'd like to get some of these, we have a deal for one or a deal for five, depending on what you're interested in getting. We'd love to ship some of these out to you. So head over to our shop, mylittlehomestead.com and you'll be able to find these. If you purchase some of these, let us know how you like them. I know they're definitely a family favorite around here. Okay, back to the show. Hey guys! <laughs> That's the end of it, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, man. Right the end. <laughs> Um, some hoppery mud to do today. We went and um, it was like, you know in those movies where they overload their car and they're like this on the way home? That's kind of what it was like for us. We got 20 boxes of mud because we want to have like an insulative layer behind the birch that we plan on putting inside the, uh, the workshop here. And we're gonna have like a little party, a little skate party with the family on there a few days from now. So uh, we, we thought we'd do the first layer of mud on the bottom row. So, you know, if little things bump into it, it won't hurt the bags. You gotta see how many boxes we have. We had about that much clearance on the tires. <laughs> two boxes up front. There's a few boxes in the back. And then we got this 
and a brand new hopper, which we're all very excited about. 20 boxes, who knew? Our little Honda could handle it. Very proud of it. So let's walk over to the wall and see. These walls are a little different, you know, because they're hyper Adobe. Super Adobe was closed bags for the most part. They were breathable, but these are kind of like an onion bag. We don't want any dirt to fall over the years and whatnot, so. Yeah, we just figured sealing them in with something is probably a good idea. Might be over the top, but we're okay with that. But yeah, we're gonna hop her in the mud to seal in the inside here. So very exciting stuff. This is a mom and I's task today. And you know what they say, follow your dreams. Bryson's gonna show us how to do it. It's super easy. You put mud in there and you push over. Yeah, but we have to have a certain texture. We have to water the mud down, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, well see, there's more to it. Well, fine then. <laughs> Be a little too. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little yeah. too thick. Maybe we should, it would be helpful, less we have to clean. That looks like a crevice that would be a pain in the bazooski, too. Yes. What do you think? Maybe start with that much water? Let's start there, yeah, see what happens. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think let's try that. Okay. Try it. Oh. What happens? Starting over here. I think it's a little bit thick. cleaner than I thought it was going to be. Are you be. happier with the texture? A texture won't matter. We just want coverage. All right. Is that the right thickness, Beth? It's pretty good. It might be able to run it runnier, though, because we're not trying to create texture. We're trying to create like coverage. Yeah, yeah, coverage. It seems like when Dad did it, too, it was really runny. nicer you'd have to go over it a few times what do you think breathe a thicker don't you think thicker yeah let's go thicker oh yeah oh yeah that's perfect that's way nicer so you went with the large nozzle and a pretty watered down paint think of it like paint. like paint okay that's a good way to look at it okay the consistency of this mud needs to be like thick paint to go through the hopper nicely. We are very pleased with the texture and how fast and evenly everything went on. The upper half will be done later when the bagging is complete. We used about 10 boxes, so we should have enough now for the second half when we're ready to do that. We didn't realize he was there, but look, he's the spackled, the poor spackledy boy. Go ahead. Sorry, it's little okay, guy. Buddy. It's Sorry. okay. Go get, go get in the water. Go get washed off. off. Go get washed off. Okay, don't stay there. Here, let me help. Don't stay there. Here, I'll help. I help. I help. Should we, should we rinse him off? Should we rinse him off? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, there we go. He's rinsed. He's rinsed and ready for a new life. Okay, come on, little buddy. It's okay. We'll take care of you. All right, little man. Go. Let your dreams, don't let your dreams be dreams. 
There you go, little man. Even, even better blending now. Look at that. really excited. Uh, some of it's already kind of dried because the sun's beating on it and it is a nice shell. Don't you think mom? Real nice oh, yeah. and stiff and exactly yeah. what we wanted. Yep, um, it's on this side too. Yeah and actually Gary and I did already kind of discuss this. We thought this would be a neat uh, thing to do behind the wood anyway to keep it so we're just being a little bit ahead of the game. That's right okay. but monsoon or oh, every single night would be a problem and those are past us. So. Guys got the roof off. Yep. Here's the story I was talking about earlier. Me and Shay and Bryson were building it. And we got that high. And we were so tired and it was so tall for us. And so Gary said, that's okay. I'll fill it in with railroad ties and get it to where we need. <laughs> oh, the block? That's why it was uh, blocked at the top like that. <laughs> it was our quick fix. A few railroad ties and then the... Dad, yeah. Dad fixed it for you. Yeah. Dad says, I like got you. Problem. And it was worked fantastic all these years. <laughs> <laughs> Only now it's getting an upgrade. Yeah. Well, he definitely wanted to get a new roof on this. Yeah. This is really coming together, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's like every new step, it just feels like it's so close. Or more uh, hardy than you might think. They took off all the half bricks down there. These are like half in this direction, and these other ones up here were half in the other direction. We wanted a full block. So we're going shorter. This these is the are, wrong way. Yeah, these are these are here, you know. Yeah. And we wanted the full block. I gotcha. We want to grow the wall though, not shrink the wall. Yeah. Just a thought. Yeah. This high. Really? A little higher actually, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's about here. Wow. With the height of the across this wall. Wow. How's it going, Bree? Good. I'm taking extra time with this line. I hope it's worth it. I don't yeah. Know. Looks good. Yeah, it actually comes off really easy if you get it a little damp. Awesome. And then we come back through with a little scrub brush and some water and and bam. Easy, easy. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Door gone. Now we can get through here nice and we're bricking. Gary always wanted new doors on there too. So, yeah. very good. They have the door off and uh, one layer in. One layer. And you're going to fill in mortar in between the block too, aren't you? No, I think we'll leave it for gaps so we can stare at people through them. Yeah, peepholes? Yeah. I noticed too how like there's these big gaps and then smaller gaps. Kind of gives you a variety. It's nice to have your hear your sarcasm again. Ah, uh, yes. I knew it was up there somewhere. <laughs> Good guys. Back down the system. We come through, we soak it a little bit, scrape it up. Very easy. We 
usually if it soaks for long enough. The other side too. We got our cones. So when people are skating, they don't go into the dirt squares. Oh yeah, look how beautiful this is. Oh, you guys did a great job. It's beautiful. Looks like a skating rink. The two outbuildings are made out of block. The buildings need to be up eight feet, something Top like that, seven or eight feet oh, above go. where they're at, because that's where the bag line is currently, because all of our cross beams need to sit evenly across the building. Yeah, and that so includes that spot. At too. least one side of the block wall, it's gonna kind of be angled. Mm -hmm. It's all and all said and done. So a lot of blocking, we really gotta get started on that process. Yeah. Is it time to get ahead of this game? R, R, R. The guys find some great ways to repurpose the railroad ties. Someone put the nails in the right spot. I'm good over here. We wouldn't have any issues. This time. Watch. First time. First time. First time. Just working away. Look at who's down here. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna disturb him much. I'm just gonna zoom in. You see him? <laughs> he's a squirrel. Is he a baby or oh no he's not. He's a full size squirrel. Oh he's like you don't see me. We don't see me. Let me move this block. Alright here we go. You gonna drink? Whoa! Oh! Whoa There oh, he goes. Oh no, Bullet, don't get him. Okay. Oh, oh. He went back into the bricks. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want Bullet to get him. Oh. Sorry, Bullet, but I didn't want you to get him. Sorry, he's a little too cute for that. He's very cute. I now know who's nibbling on my aquaponics, though. <laughs> One of the things about the air creek though is we don't really have a lot to put up each week. Yes. So we decided what we want to do is start cleaning up. It was going to be just Bree and I, mm -hmm. but we, it's kind of turned into a bigger job. It, because we, we had a goal. We wanted to get this done for our skate party. Oh, right. And so we were like, okay guys, here, it's an idea. Maybe you stop what you're doing that's super important and instead <laughs> come and do the less important thing of cleaning. And they're mm -hmm. like, yes. So that's what we did all together. It was a lot of block to move yeah. and a few truck loads and um, I don't think we could be yeah. done without them. So <laughs> that's, it was lots of heavy work with the yeah. blocks, but I will say that when I was first talking to Gary about that, I just figured we would always have that area in front of the poop barn, which I don't know what it is now, but at the time, and we just thought, well, just leave this area here. All right, mom, shoot the hoop. <laughs> He's st starting to talk about where this is going to go and where that's going to go. And then as dawning on me, he wants to clear the whole thing out. So it was kind of fun to be able to do that and really love it like that. Mm -hmm. And it's, there's no reason why all that stuff should be right there yeah. anyway. Now, when you drive in, we'll be able to see the building. We'll have to do a little bit of, you know, landscaping around the trees and stuff, nothing big. Yeah. And also, I mean, where the stuff went to is around, like there's a little driveway. So, I mean, you could just roll right up, load up and go too. So in yeah. both scenarios, we've got a great place in front. Now you can really see the building and that stuff's in a better location too. So perfect. Yeah. This 
so one of the problems that we've kind of encountered was there needs to be a line of trusses going across the front of the outbuilding uh, nearest to our driveway. We needed to come up with a way to attach them to the brick building and to the other trusses as well. We thought of like bra using brackets. We didn't think the brackets would be strong enough. Yeah, and the, and the insane. brick wall. Because this particular location, we didn't build the brick buildings anticipation for the shop. We just built them wherever we wanted to build them. Mm -hmm. So the other side lines up perfectly. But this side, the trusses go right next to the building. We decided to just run trusses yeah. right across the block wall that stick out and meet our our main truss that yeah. go across. Yeah, because it transfers all the forces straight down instead of the forces going like this. Yeah, so, so sideways. So we borrowed the jig stuff from Darren so we could make a few of these. What's bizarre about this is you got your angle iron, right? But as you're making welds, on this, it's heating this side of the metal. With heating and cooling, you cause expansion, right? So it causes the whole thing to warp. This little jig that my brother made fits in here and has a little hook. And you pull down on each side of the truss to warp it the opposite way so that when you go and you weld it, it'll come back straight when you relax everything. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a, a bizarre issue, you know, think about when welding, but. We decided to run the idea past Garen since Garen was the one building these trusses and he was like, yeah, that should work. So He liked the idea. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to go with two trusses across here that connect to the main ones. So we have to build two of the trusses. There's one. Excellent, they're right? Gonna, they're gonna help hold the roof together. And then I, I'm doing this one right now. This is my chain method of holding this. But well, you're almost done with that one too. I am. All I gotta do is get those two welded on here on each side. And it'll be complete. Awesome. Oh. Good job. Trying to get our everything lined up here because we're gonna put in the last of the trusses that we have, which is just like four trusses, five? Uh, five. So I, I built the last two. Now we can put those up. I'll show you come over this way. So this is kind of an odd part of the building here where part of the brick wall does not line up with where our trusses need to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run two trusses going across the brick building that stick out which will allow our outermost truss to come across and we can weld to them. Mm -hmm. And that will give us a nice place for our roofing to come in and set. Right. Perfect. Those are the two that Bryson just made just now. And those three are the ones that are going across here. Dad didn't want to do posts here because it was just going to get in the way, right? Yes. I don't picture them looking very good. Yeah, me neither. I think Dad thought the same way. So I think we're going to be good there. One truss is going to go there across over to here. And then one truss is going to come over to here. Nice. Sweet. So as you can see, we're a little low. I like a half a brick, huh? I'm thinking half a brick. Oh, that seems to level. Seems pretty good. See if the work that did works. First oh, try, yeah. first try. Oh yeah, oh. first try. This is our new mortar. It comes straight, straight from mortar. Mortar. You can see it's like slime. <laughs> it actually is like slime. Here, not that much. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we'll use those metal straps to kind of tie it in. And we're level. Oh, yeah. Beautiful is that? Does it not fit perfectly or what? Yeah. That's what we've been trying to do for the past week or so. <laughs> it's been a while. 
Yeah. That is level as can get. That's oh, perfect. Good job. Then we, we just got to weld this in and slap the other guy in. We already have the bracket for him. And then that'll be all the truss beams. I love how solid it feels too. Yeah. I'm going to set it up there. It was just like clank. It just sat nice. Yep. This is probably the best things we could have done, I think. Yep. Yep. I'm glad we went this direction for sure. Good job. Jared, are you ready? Uh-huh. Dude, beautiful. Jared is working on the last paint job, really. For this side. For this side, yeah. And I mean, gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, it's yeah. just, oh, wow. Look at that. Is it straight? Oh yeah. So I'm really, really, really starting to gain a lot of trust in the structure of these trusts now. And mm -hmm. when they're finally done, it's really starting to look like quite the shop. Yeah. It's really cool. And now we got all the trusts done. Yep. Finally. Yep. Taken finally. Away. And painted too. And painted. Yeah. We got them all painted. You can trust me when I say this. No more trusts. Fingers crossed. Before <laughs> until we get up high. Yeah. We can trust you. Yeah. You can trust me on that yeah. when I say that. The area that was the junkyard just looks fantastic oh now. Gosh, and that's great. I know there's more work to be done in that area. Yeah. It's, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. And the, the actual junkyard we have now, it's nice. Yeah, it is. It's so nice now driving up, you see a wonderful building. You're like, oh yeah, it's starting to come to life. It really is. The girls sprayed sheetrock mud. Well, <clears throat> my <other> guys <clears throat> <clears throat> sprayed the sheetrock mud in there. And I'm, man, did that ever, was that ever nice? Mm -hmm. I think if you were just doing like, if you needed something to just coat the bags real fast, just yeah. to shed a little bit of rain, not a lot obviously, but a little bit, you could probably easily just mud that. Yeah. Just like that and it would coat it really yeah. well. Yeah, do the mud real quick and then do like a spray paint. paint. Yeah. Like either aerosol or just an air sprayer and they'll be, you can have that done in a day. Yeah, you, you could, yeah. This project continues to fall into place. We still have challenges ahead of us, but we know in the end, this building will be more than worth it. In the meantime, the shop can be used for other more playful things. Thank you for watching our homesteading journey. We post a new mini documentary every month. If you enjoyed our video, consider liking and subscribing or following. If you really enjoyed it, share it with a friend and tag us on social media. Our links are down below. We want to give a special thank you to our Patreon and local supporters. You help keep our content coming. Before you go, drop a comment. We love to hear from you. Thanks and God bless. Yes. The guys are out here whining yeah, cable. Okay. That may end up being a zip line. Mom was Ooh. thinking, and I really like this idea, having a zip line from the shop to our house. That would be pretty awesome. I want 12 of them. I want 12. I want 12. Jared can do a really good impression of that guy. <laughs> Did you know you had company? Hi, buddy. Are you getting the, all the little mice around here? You look pretty small for a mouse. To eat a mouse. How big is your mouth? You open, open up, up would you? Let us see. Wait, I'll, we get the tape measure out. We'll get to yeah. decide whether you're going to be actually useful or not around here. Pretty.
Yeah. Wow, yeah. it's got really gentle eyeballs. It's pretty good for mm -hmm. a snake. Okay. He's like testing the air. We'll like, leave you be. Go get a rat or something. Make yourself useful. Get get yourself some din din or some brekkie or blunch or whatever. We don't get too many uh, trick or treaters out here in the sticks, but when we do. Have a good Halloween.